This is amazing. Now we have GPT 4.0 API. As you probably know, it is a multimodal model. Voice has emotional range. Voice is easily interruptible and available for free for all chat GPT users. We can see GPT 4.0 API got published on their website. We are able to perform normal chat using chat API, then do image processing, video processing, and combination of that. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about GPT-40 API. In this, we are going to see how to do a basic chat, image processing with Base64 and also from URL, video and audio summary, audio visual together, then visual Q&A, audio Q&A, then visual audio Q&A together. Before going into every single step, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. So first step, pip install hyphen u, open AI, open CV Python, movie pi and then click enter. We are using hyphen u to upgrade the latest open AI package and click enter. Now everything got installed. Now export your open AI API key like this and then click enter. You can generate your OpenAI keys from platform.openai.com. Next, create a file called app.py and let's open it. First, from OpenAI, import OpenAI. Next, import OS, defining the model name GPT-40. Then, calling the OpenAI function and initiating the API key. First, we are going to see how to do basic chat using API. So, basic chat, we are calling chat.completions.create function and then passing the model in the messages we are saying you are a helpful assistant. Help me with my math homework. Hello, could you solve two plus two? That is the user's request. After that, we are printing the response. That's it. By just defining this function and providing the question, you are able to interact with OpenAI API. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, Python app.py and then click enter. And here is the response. Assistant, of course, the sum of two plus two is equals four. That is correct. Similarly, you can ask more advanced question and use this API to integrate within your application. Next, let's go much more detail. Image processing with Base64. Importing Base64. Next, providing the image path that is called triangle.png. So here's the image of triangle.png. It has numbers such as 695, as you can see here. Next, creating a function called encode image to convert it to Base64. Then, passing that image to that function so that this image gets converted to base64. Base64 is just a number and character representation. Now let's again create chat.completions.create function. There we are passing the text. What's the area of the triangle? So as you know, GPT-40 is multimodal. So you are able to enter text and also image. Image is in base64 format. That's it. Just by providing this two information, the large language model is able to respond with the area of the triangle. Now we are going to print this and that's it. Just only this bit of code and you are able to integrate a multimodal question answering system on any of your applications. Just by providing this image, we are going to get an answer. Just commenting out my previous request and going to run this. Python app.py and then click enter. And here is the response. The sides of the triangle are 6, 5 and 9 and the area of the triangle is 10 square root of 2 square units. That's it. Next. Let's do image processing using URL. Next, image processing with URL. Same as before, chat completions create, providing the question and the URL. Going to open this and same image in the URL. Printing for reference and now I'm going to run this. Just this only change to URL. Python app.py and here is the response. Same as before, that is correct. Next, we are going to provide a video and ask it to generate a summary. Coming under the summarization task. Summarization video summary. Import CV2 from movie pi. Dot editor import video file clip. Import time and import base64. Next, providing the video path that is keynote recap. And here's the keynote recap. It's about the OpenAI dev day. We are going to ask questions based on this and also convert this to audio later. We are going to process the video. So this process video function will automatically take the video path and then convert that to base64 and give the audio path. That's it. Converting to base64, same as we did for images, and then saving the audio file in an mp3 format. Finally, it returns base64 and audio path. Now next, 
passing the video path and calling the function, also passing the seconds per frame. Now response equals, same as before, chat.completions.create and providing the base64 format by passing this variable. And in the system message we are saying, you are generating a video summary. Please provide a summary of the video. Respond in markdown. In the user message we are saying, these are the frames from the video. That's it. Now I'm going to print this response and now we are ready. So two steps we did. We processed the video and converted that to base64. Then we are passing that base64 into our prompt. Now I'm going to run this code in your terminal pythonapp.py and now it's processing the request. Now you can see it's dividing that into chunks, extracted 218 frames, extracted audio to keynote recap.mp3. We can even now go and hear this audio and here's the mp3 audio. Per minute for all of our established GPT-4. We're gonna launch the GPT store. That's what it got converted from video to audio. We use the movie pie package for that. And here is the video summary in markdown format. Video appears to be a keynote presentation from an event called OpenAI Dev Day. And here is a summary introduction, event menus, keynote presentation, and the topics covered, which is correct. GPT-4 Turbo, JSON mode, function calling, custom models, performance improvements and pricing, product announcements, conclusion. It's really detailed. Similarly, you can integrate this with your application. So if someone records any video in your application or do something, you are able to convert that to a summary. It could be useful for your online meetings. So next we are going to see audio summary, audio plus visual summary together. For audio summary, we are using client.audio.transcriptions.create and we are passing the whisper one model. Next calling chat.completions.create and passing that transcription to the prompt here, transcription.text. That's it. Only this bit of code and you have integrated audio transcription. Then it can provide summary. After this, audio plus video summary. So in this, same as before, we're calling that function, providing the base64 image. That is a video which we initially converted to base64 frames and the audio transcription here. So in this way, we are combining both audio and video together and then going to summarize it. Now it's all ready. I'm going to run this code, Python app.py and then click enter. And here's a summary from audio and video together, which is much more clearer. Now finally, we are going to see about question and answers with visual audio, then visual plus audio together. So coming to our code, visual Q&A, this is the question which we are going to ask. Why did Sam Altman have an example about raising windows and turning the radio on? So ChatGPT is going to go through the transcription, video and audio and understand what it's all about. Same as before, we are adding the chat completions create function. Here we are providing the base64 image. That is a video image, base64 frames. And use the video to answer the provided question. And this is the question. Similarly, for audio q and I'm providing the transcription.tech with the question. For the audio and video q and I'm providing the base64 frames as video and transcription.tech, both together to get a much accurate answer. Now I'm going to run this code with all these three functions. In your terminal, Python app.py and then click enter. And here is the final answer. For the visual Q&A, Sam Altman used the example about raising windows and turning the radio on to illustrate the improved function calling capabilities of the new model. And similarly, we got the answer for the audio Q&A. It says the provided transcription does not include any mention of Sam Altman about raising windows and turning the radio on. For some reason, I got the answer like this. For both audio and video q and I got the correct answer, which is more detailed. That's what we expect. So overall, we saw about basic chat, image processing, summarization, and q and I'm really excited about it. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.